is coming. From everyone here at 2K, thanks for joining us. We've got a Wednesday afternoon edition of the NBA for you. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analysts, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Ali LaForce. Now the starting group for the visitors. Damian Lillard out there with Jason Tatum. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. Then it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Bradley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Miami, Davis out there with LeBron James. Then there's Jimmy Butler. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Ewing in at the five. Here we go. Now here's Lillard. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Tatum with it. The three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. That's on Jimmy Butler. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. B.A., he has gotten stronger. He has gotten more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now special at finishing around the rim. You love this about him. He methodically attacks his weaknesses in order to become complete. And he sinks the second. Well, what's impressive to me about Jason Tatum is how he attacks his weaknesses in the offseason. This guy is committed to greatness. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Now here's Irving. Outside Davis. Back to Irving. Pass to Davis. Fires the three. Bradley grabs the board. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. James with the ball. On the wing, Irving. Three-pointer off the mark. Tatum against Irving. Tatum gets the bucket. Tatum's got five. Nice decision by Tatum. Go to the pull-up game so you don't meet the defender at the rim. Irving for three. Here's the three. And the three-pointer goes. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. <laughs> The visitors with the ball. Let's go with a three. A shot by Lillard. No good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Irving, the pass to Ewing. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. That passing ability complements Irving scoring so well. Just over a minute and a half in. Davis against Antetokounmpo. Out to Lillard. It's stolen by Irving. Outside Butler. Here's Davis. Here's James. It's good from about 19 feet. Yeah, this is a dangerous area for LeBron James. You get him into that mid-range area, you don't know what he's going to do. Now Lillard. And stolen by Irving. Down low. Here's Ewing. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Now here's Lillard to end the run. And it's Ewing with a rebound. Let's see if they want to go two for one here, Grant. Hey, looking at the clock, I'd say yes. Butler against Tatum. Butler can't get it to go. Jimmy Butler. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Here's Edwards. 
And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. Uses the glass on the layup. Well, deceptive speed to me on that drive. Bogdanovich able to slice through the defense. Gilgis Alexander against Gilgis Alexander. Driving to the basket. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for one. Shay Gilgis Alexander. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. What's been amazing to watch is Shea Gilgis Alexander going from good player to now putting his name at the very top of the list in terms of great guards in the league. Gilgis Alexander from outside. An absolute bomb from three-point range. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. The Miami Heat leading by a point, and we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play all right well a look at how the points have been generated so far a scoring breakdown for Miami they've done a great job facilitating shooters their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well and they've also done a really good job taking advantage of miscues their defense has been stifling in this one they've got shit whoa are you kidding me LeBron those are the kinds of moves that distinguish LeBron from every other small forward that has ever played this game. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Can't hit. One for two now. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Miami. It's a three-point game. James passes to Thomas. Back to James. Here's Thomas. Fires from deep. LeBron fires and hits a three. This is why LeBron's so tricky to defend. Yes, he has the strength to go inside and finish, but he's also got such touch from behind the arc. Edwards, the pass to Roger. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. I just love the aggressive finish. Oh, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. And Doris Anthony Edwards has lived up to the expectations. He continues to get better each year. He does, B.A., and let's remember, as a former number one pick, that carries a lot of weight and responsibility. But Ant is a guy who embraces that pressure. He wants the spotlight, and he puts in the work to be great. His future is bright. Now here's Edwards. Yet to see a basket. Bogdanovich from long range. And we've got 118 left in the second. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hero. Offline with a three. That's tipped. And a bio with a steal. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. For a center, Adebayo is an excellent passer. He's always so aware of his surroundings. A minute six left in the second quarter. For three, here's Lillard. It's rebounded by Olajuwon. Irving looking around. Here's Butler. Back to Robinson. The shot misses. Nice D from Tatum. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Davis with a rebound. 
And it's Miami's ball. They've only given up two points this quarter. Outside Butler. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. On to Kumpo. Good work defensively by Robinson. It would be smart to hold for the final shot. Well, that's great execution if you can do that because it takes any chance of momentum away from your opponent. Here's Butler. The fadeaway J is off the mark. Boy, a miss like that will drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. And so it's Miami with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. If you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You got to like what we're seeing from LeBron James. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. Well, one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. LeBron James out there with Anthony Davis. And then it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Ewing in at the center position. That's the group starting the second half for Mike D'Antoni. Davis against Honor Kumpo. Pass to Bogdanovich. Some solid defense from James. Bogdanovich is gone. One for three from the field here. Davis from long range. Outside for Irving. There's the three. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Irving. And it's an 11-point Miami lead. What focus from Davis at the arc. Managing to sink what for him is a tough shot. Bradley passes to Lillard. Two minutes in the third. Two minutes. 157 left in the third quarter. On the wing, Tatum from deep. Tatum drills the three. And talk about payback. He hits the revenge triple. Oh, you love to see the competitive fire. A little bit of pride at stake. Irving against Lillard. Outside Irving. Pass to Butler. Poke loose. Just five on the clock. Outside Davis. Now Irving. James. Outside. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Irving's got his fifth assist in this one. Oh, the deep bomb from LeBron who makes that shot look effortless. Now here's Lillard. Still no points. Now here's Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. And so it's Irving with it. He brings it up for Miami. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. Thomas, he's checked in for Miami. 51 seconds left in the third. On the wing, Tatum. Three-pointer. Fires in the triple. Tatum's got six in the quarter. The rise and fire by Jason Tatum. Ready to catch it and score it immediately. And it's Irving with the drive. And Irving powers it home. 
And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Irving's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Gilgis Alexander with nobody on him. He buries that jumper. Gilgis Alexander's got five points. Oh, my goodness. How good was that move by Shea? Creating a bucket. <laughs> oh, LeBron. Just too much to handle inside. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. And Lillard puts up a deep three. And it's Ewing with a rebound. Ewing's got his fourth rebound in this one. And here's Butler outside. If you're going to play for this team, you've got to be willing to mix it up on the defensive end. And Jason Tatum gets in the space of the shooter. That's nice. And so it's Miami up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. They've kept their concentration on limiting Damian Lillard. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. got Jason Tatum. Giannis Antetokounmpo is out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. Then there's Damian Lillard, and it's Bradley in at the five down low. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You can't let Davis get established positioning inside. If he does, you have to foul him. Anthony Davis, two shots. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Lillard deciding where to go with it. Free ball from Lillard. A genuine sniper from downtown. Lillard's confidence is what makes him so dangerous. Lillard against Irving. And the foul on Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Lillard against Irving from downtown and it's Ewing with a rebound Ewing's got six rebounds here tonight inside Davis and finished off by Davis you know, LeBron James always surveying the floor few players in the history of the game have the court vision that LeBron has a few possessions into the fourth just over a minute play oh Giannis a rim rocker he just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. And here is Irving. They set a pick. Pass to Ewing. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Here's Bogdanovich. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. And now just a five-point Miami lead. And it's Miami's ball. They've led by as many as 11. On the wing, Irving. Defended by Lillard. Irving, the pass to Ewing. He's off on that one. On an Akumpo, outside. Lillard finds Tatum. Lillard outside. Bradley sets a screen. It's tipped! 56 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Butler. Out to James. Pass to Davis. Back to James. And here's Butler. And that's an intentional foul. Second prison foul. 44 seconds left in the game. 
and they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. There's Lillard. No good on the quick three. Listen, that's a look he can hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Outside for Davis. He takes it in. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. And Miami leads by 10. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. And here's Davis. He'll bring it up for Miami. James passes to Butler. Shoots over Tatum. Butler can't get that one to fall. I don't know if he's trying to show off with the crowd or what, but there's no reason for that kind of shot. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving.